Hey everybody, this is Robies5991 here with Online Nights, and today I have another Halo 4 Forge map showcase to share with you all. So today's map is entitled Lunar Outpost, and it's been submitted to us by Wraith2098. So this is a big team battle map built on the canvas of impact, as you can see, and it is a very cool aesthetic map that gives a really great competitive experience. So uh, I didn't put a specific game type down, as I usually do with competitive maps, just because it works with a variety of competitive game types and uh, I'll let you guys explore that when you download it. So uh, anyways, let's get to the map review. So as you can see, the base is nicely separated. There's a large natural area in the middle built with rocks, and then each team has their own base. So right here, we're exploring blue base, as you can see, evidently marked by its colors. There are vehicle spawns in the back, and I, I believe on depending on what game type you're playing, it will vary the, vari the vehicle sets. Uh, however, what we're playing right now is BTB, so you had a ghost and a warthog on the back. So each team will spawn with one of those. This is the central structure. It has two floors to it, multiple access points, and just as a basic aesthetic, it looks pretty nice. Uh, the gameplay elements of it are very interesting. It's a cool central piece to the map and really helps divide the lines of sights and helps one team push up if ever they're kind of being held back. So uh, over here we have the yellow area, so he's done a great job color coding most of the parts of his map to really make it easily identifiable. So this is somewhat of a storage area. You've got a teleporter in the back, which as you can see I went to go use here, so I appeared over on that side with my scatter shot, and uh, I proceeded to kind of camp this area, but uh, we were trying to be careful, and anyways, I ended up going through and appearing at the opposing side of the map, and I managed to eliminate a few different players, so I was pretty happy with that. And uh, that's kind of one of the fast traversing points across the map, which really gives it a nice twist of gameplay. So as I was saying, this is yellow area, and I believe in the back there's a goshog spawn, although, I, sorry, not a goshog, a rocket hog, I believe. And um, there is, uh, as you saw back there, a few skill jumps hidden across the map for vehicles and humans, which I find is really fun. This is the uh, upper area of the central base, once again. You can see it's different color coded depending on what side of the teams it belongs to. You can see this map is great for warthog pathing. You got so many different areas you can drive by. Uh, this is red base, by the way, very similar, if not 100% identical to blue base, uh, except for the coloring, which is obviously the difference. Um, each base has these kind of backward paths, as you can see, that go behind the silos, which act as great line of sight breakers and also as a nice way to maneuver behind the different areas of the base. So not only does it serve as great warthog pathing, but you can also cut towards the different vehicle areas and try to ambush your enemies by doing kind of uh, an envelopment strategy of sorts. So back here we have the mining facility, which I thought was so nicely done. Uh, this is actually the Mantis spawn, so there are the two power vehicles, the Rocket Hog on one side and the Mantis on this side. You can see there is this uh, crane kind of picking up these rocks. I thought that was such a nice aesthetic to have in a competitive map, and it really does give a feel to that area. And uh, over here is uh, another one of the bases. you got this cool underground tunnel dug out, which is very nice on the impact canvas, I must say. This is green area, and as you saw earlier, that's where the uh, double-noted teleporter exits. So that's kind of where I was doing my back and forth earlier. And uh, these do serve as a great turning point for the battle. So if you can grab one or the other, it kind of helps you maneuver yourself back and forth. So here, this is me just in uh, the passenger seat of the Warthog to give you an idea of all the great pathing. So here we have the map creator Wraith giving me a ride around the map. Uh, overall, there's just so much nice pathing. You can get some really cool jumps. He's got all of them cleverly set up. Um, they really just flow so nicely in the map. You don't even really notice it as a significant, you know, something that stands out. It just flows so nicely. And overall, it's a lot of fun to play on this map. <laughs> Unfortunately, we hit the jump at a bad angle there, and uh, that led to our demise when we got a sticky grenade to hit us. So once again, here's yellow base. I didn't really show you the inside of the structure earlier, but just wanted to give you a little overview. And there are the pallets that you don't expect to be used as a jump, but they can be used as a jump. And uh, this is one slight little overview of the entire area, just so you get a full feel of the layout of the map. It's a nice, large map. It's really fun to play, I've got to say. No matter what game type you go on, it gives you a consistently fun competitive experience. So these are all the players I want to thank for helping us test out this map. Thank you guys so much. We had a blast. Uh, we've played this in multiple lobbies as it's been progressively tested and it's gotten better over time and I'm very happy with the finished product that Wraith has come up with. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you want to submit your own maps to us, please be sure to check the video entitled The Honorary Knight System, which will be linked at the end of this video. This has been Robius5991 here with Online Knights. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time and I'll leave you with a little bit of gameplay right now.